It's World AIDS Day is tomorrow, and a gathering in Southern California commemorated it at Hollywood Lutheran Church tonight. Gigi Gracia was there for the service, joins us live from the church. Gigi. And Jeff, at tonight's special service at the church behind me, there was no preaching and no sermon. Instead, it was all about celebrating and honoring the many lives lost because of the AIDS epidemic. We walk congregation of Hollywood Lutheran Church came together to mark World AIDS Day, it was all about honoring the countless lives lost to the epidemic. And everyone here seemed to know someone who lost that battle. I had a dear friend of mine in the 80s who died of AIDS. I'm here to honor a couple friends back at uh, University of Pittsburgh where I went to college. My sister, who was a nurse, who had an accident in the operating room. I've been affected, it, affected by it through people I know, not from here, but from New York City, who fell under the uh, heading of uh, heroin use and dirty needles and things like that and uh, it's heartfelt, it's heavy duty. As the 20th anniversary of World AIDS Day is celebrated, the church wanted to be a part of it and through music. Poetry and the simple act of just talking about it they were. Every single thing that we can do to bring this into the light and remove any bit of um, uh, stigma or any fear of the unknown, remove that away from it, is, is going to do every bit of good. Well, I think it's very important to remember if people forget, um, this disease will go on and continue to to decimate communities. The message is compassion. The message is caring for those who are around us who may be facing enormous personal costs and enormous difficulties coping with HIV and AIDS. Now officially tomorrow, December the 1st, is World AIDS Day, an event created to do what they did at the church tonight, to call attention to the HIV and AIDS epidemic in hopes of educating people and also in hopes that the stigma associated with the disease will end. Reporting live in Hollywood, Gigi Graciette, Fox 11 News.